Hey guys, it's Flory. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, guess what? I got my February favorites today, and I have a, my list right here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you about some of the things I've really been liking and enjoying in February. Um, some of them are new. Some of them are just new to me. Some of them are just rediscovered favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn this down just a tad. Oh, there, that's a little bit better. It was like <laughs> blinding me. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have a few things here. I don't know, I got them all here. Uh, where should I start? Let's start right here. The very first thing I want to talk about is an item that was gifted to me by a very good friend of mine, Miss Amanda. Um, I want to say thank you, Amanda. Um, this is something that she gave me. I would have never probably bought it for myself. I mean, but this is just an amazing, amazing product, and I love the way it feels. This is Mally's Prep and Prime, and this is the packaging. This is how it looks. This is what it comes in. Isn't that super adorable? It is so, so nice. Um, the consistency of this primer is uh, it's just so silky. It's not, not at all um, silicone-y. It's just silky to the skin. And here's the texture. You can count, hopefully you can see that in there. And it's just kind of like a whipped texture it's not um like i said you can kind of see the peaks on that and when you put it on your skin it just like i said it just silky it's not it just feels so soft and really luxurious i'm um, not really much of a fragrance to it and the packaging is just adorable and it doesn't really take much at all and another thing she told me is that not only can you use this as a primer but you can also use it at night after you put your um, serums and moisturizer on. You can put a thin layer on over that and it helps seal it all in and protect you at night. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do that because I have a feeling it's going to feel amazing. But this is just so, so silky and I love using this. And it's just, it's just an amazing product. So thank you so much, Amanda, for gifting that to me. I just think it's I think I think it's awesome and again it's Mally's prep and prime so I recommend it um, let's see the next thing I want to talk about um, here's another thing um, that I got into my collection um, because somebody was just destashing it and it's also from Amanda but she was destashing this and um, I said I'll take it I'll take it um, and that's the Gwen Stefani um, Urban Decay Palette. Um, this was something I was going to buy for myself anyway. So when she was destashing it, I, like I said, I told her, yeah, I, I, I take it. But I mean, I wasn't going to let her give it to me. I definitely wanted to make sure I bought it from her. I mean, but the colors on this, I know a lot of people thought they were boring and they, the, that the, they were disappointed that there wasn't like a bunch of color variation and stuff but I think it's just, there's a lot of things you could do here there's so many different looks that you can get out of this I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can see or not but I'm wearing the palette today and I just think I don't know I've, I've been having a really good time using this palette this whole month and I mean there's not much I can say that's, I mean, I really love it. I think it's amazing. It blends well. Um, everything, I've just really been enjoying it. And like I said, you get different looks out of there. I've used the pinks. I've used the blues. I've used this color up here. You know, these two here. I haven't used this yellow yet. I'm going to try that out. I've used this black up here. I've used a lot of the, most of these colors in here. And, you know, you can come out with these great different looks and, I love this palette. I was really surprised that there's some weight to this palette. So it looks so sharp and everything, but there's an actual weight to this palette. And uh, so it, it's really, you can tell it's kind of quality <laughs> behind it. And um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this palette. So I'm really happy to have it. And um, definitely a February favorite. 
so I recommend that one also. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's move on. Oh, I was looking for that. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, something that I showed in my e.l.f. haul. Um, this is a new product that I think it's a new product for them. But anyways, this is the e.l.f. Um, let me see. What did I, I hope I wrote down the name. Cause this is the Lift and Feel Double Sided Eyebrow Pencil. And the color is in ivory and medium. The, this is what it kind of looks like. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is packaging. The packaging is really terrible. Um, the lid doesn't stay on, so you have to be really careful about the lid. But here's this side right here. This is the ivory side, and here is the medium side. Um, I think this is medium. Yeah. Um, so over here is your medium, and here is the brow, the filling side. So you can kind of see the two colors. Here's what I use to fill in my brows, and then this is uh, what I use to kind of um, shape around it or use it on my brow bone. Um, the other nice thing is that this lid right here comes with the sharpener, works really well on both sides of the pencil. But like I said, just be really careful with the pencil because the lids do pop off. But I'm using it today. I use it every day, actually. And I have really enjoyed it. I was a little worried about the thicker pencil. But it actually works really, really well. So I use this. And then what I do is I take the Maybelline Clear Gel and I use that to set. And for me, it works really well. I think, I think I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, so I've really been enjoying it. And for, I think, what, three bucks, I'm going to say. I don't remember how much this cost. But um, if it wasn't three, I think it, I got it on sale for three. So, anyways, that's a good product. I do recommend that one, too. I think it's worth a try, anyway. Even, you know, even if it doesn't work for you, I think even for just that price, it's worth a shot. So, I like it a lot. I was a little surprised. I was kind of really surprised. I wasn't expecting too much from that product but I was really surprised how much I like it so I mean that's a good one I think um, another thing I want to talk about is something I think I got this in my birch box mm, yeah, I'm going to say birch box um, this is from the balm and this was a um, a little sample that was sent and this is called um, this is bronzer blush and it's Balm Desert, and it came in this little packaging. This isn't Frat Boy, because you remember what Frat Boy did, but this is a bomb. And this is, um, okay, so this came in there like that. You can tell I'm almost already used it all up, but I use it for my, um, bronzer. <laughs> I was gonna say contour, but I don't really, I just bronzer. Um, just a, I love this color. It's just beautiful, it's perfect. I don't know, can you see that? Um, it says bronzer and blush, but I use it just mainly for bronzer. And here's that color right there. Can you see that? And, yeah, it's just a beautiful color. And I really, really have enjoyed this. And I've been using it every single day for the whole month. And I'm about, looks like, about to hit pan in there. And, um, um, I just like, darn it. Anyways, can you see that? Anyway, the color is called Balm Desert. So I'm going to be looking for when that comes out on Holt Look. I'm going to be all over that. And I'm going to definitely get a full size of this. So I recommend that one also. It's a great color for me anyway. So if you have a skin tone that's kind of like mine, be perfect, I think. I've really been enjoying it. And it goes a long way, just like the rest of them. <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, another thing that I got in one of my boxes, um, is this First Aid Beauty, and this is the Ultra Repair Cream. And this is an intense hydration for dry parched skin. So this is a lotion, a, a hand lotion. Actually, it's a body lotion, but I've been using it mainly for my hands. And it's really, really good for dry skin. And with the winter weather here and how dry the air is when we're I'm in Colorado and um we're a mile high so it gets really really dry here 
and um, so this is really coming in handy and it does such a good job it sinks right into the skin and what's really nice is that it's not greasy not greasy at all and um, here's the texture of that and like I said you can just um, it sinks right into your skin into your hands and it's such it's not greasy it's not you can just put it on and you can snap your fingers right away it's not greasy it passes my test anyway <laughs> I don't like that when you put your hand lotion on and you can't um, your hands are so greasy you can't do anything so that impresses me <laughs> so I really like this and I do recommend it so thank you thank you for this I think it was Birchbox again I think Birchbox is one that's been sending me all these goodies but I could be wrong I don't know another good thing I've been um, this is a drugstore item, and this is something that I got, my doctor told me to pick up because I have a lot of scars, uh, scar tissue on my legs and, and stuff from just multiple surgeries that I had last year. I still have a lot of scar tissue and a lot of um, healing that's going on. And this right here is a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. And this stuff right here is good stuff because it helps smooth marks and tone skin. This is really good to help soften up the scars because when the scar tissue is getting healing and it's healing really tightly, it's not comfortable. So this stuff really does well and helps keep that soften, softened up. And so like if you feel a little tightening of the skin or tightening of that scar tissue or, or anything, I think it's good for stretch marks and everything like that too. Um, this is this is some magic I mean it just really is and it smells good this is my second one <laughs> so it's like a ointment almost almost you you kind of have to dig in there it's kind of like butter almost <laughs> but oh goodness I'm sorry I had to move my leg and it hurts but um I'm going to rub that in and it just I mean to me it just helps with that scar um just the rough, not just the weight that it just kind of tightens up and it really pulls on the skin. So this is something I highly, highly recommend. Like if you're dealing with that kind of problem, um, but or if you even it says rough, dry skin, but it heals and softens. So um, that's something like I said I recommend. And this is you can find in the drugstore. It's not expensive at all. It's really very affordable. And like I said, that's my second tub, and I recommend it for sure. Um, let's see, another thing that's been my favorite. As you know, um, February is a good, uh, it was an awesome month because it was the Super Bowl. And Super Bowl champions, the Broncos, yay. <laughs> but I wore a lot of orange, a lot of orange and blue was going on in my makeup looks. One of the things that I had, um, was this. And this is something that actually my husband bought me, um, over the summer of last year I think and this is from Maybelline it's the Vivids and this is in the color Vibrant Mandarin this lipstick when he picked this out for me I was like yikes <laughs> yikes that's a bright orange husband but look at that this color I rocked this orange lipstick so much during football season that I just and I got so many compliments when I wore this too. And this color, it is vibrant. And it's not really coming out true to color on the camera. But um, it's really such a beautiful, bright, it's like I said, bright orange. But my lips are kind of very pigmented. So um, the brightness, I think, mixed with the pigmentation of my lips, I think kind of, I don't know, but it, it really... For some reason, it worked for me, and um, I got lots of compliments whenever I wore this color. And uh, you know, even though it was a bright orange lip, it worked, and um, so I really, really enjoyed this. I'll be wearing it a lot over the summer again, and I'll probably wear it again next year for football season again um, with some of the other orange lippies that I have. Um, so who knew not me my husband did so I have to say that he he knew better than I did on this one and I have to say thank you husband for this nice vibrant orange lipstick because it worked out great for me this year 
So thank you, especially this month. Thanks so much. Um, speaking of the Broncos, um, I did every week. I had to do my um, during the season. I did a uh, lucky Bronco nails for my nail art, and every Sunday I would come out with a new um, design, sort of you know, some way to to do a, a, a manicure with my orange and blue um, colors. Um, I recently just got these from Bundle Monster, and I ordered these because I knew we were in the playoffs, and I wanted to make um, sure that I had some um, good um, Bronco nails, let's say. So, these are stamping plates, and these stamping plates right here are the from the Work It collection, and this is from the Work It uh, BMXL181, and this right here is a stamping plate that is pretty much football related so it has a bunch of uh, football terminology here it has offense defense stuff right here it has all kinds of different things and I use the stamping plate um, quite a, a lot during the playoffs and this one right here is a work at BMXL185 even though this one is a, a one for basketball I use that little finger right there that says a number one right there so I use that one um, so these came in so handy over the playoffs um, during the playoffs and so I really use this whole bunch and this definitely was a favorite so this is from Bundle Monster and um, I recommend this set I like buying you can buy the plates individually you can but for me I just like enjoy buying them as a set it seems like you get a better deal I think and you know it just seems like I don't know I just like buying sets as as opposed to just one plate individually so um so those were definitely a favorite for me um let's see going down my list um oh perfume this oh well let's go ahead and um Oh, I want to talk about this perfume. This perfume right here, I think, came in. Um, I, it might have been in a glossy box, if I remember right. Um, this is from Toka. Ah. Okay, so this is from Toka. Um, this perfume is a Eau de, Eau, Eau de Perfume. I don't know how to pronounce all that. I don't speak French, that's for sure. Um, this is the perfume, and this is called Isabel. And basically, Isabel says it's a chic city girl from Barcelona. Isabel is an unconventional yet remarkable beauty, beauty, uh, with notes of sangria, Mediterranean orange, Spanish rose, and leather. She is eclectic, unpredictable, and captivating. So this perfume smells so good. I mean, it smells so, so yummy. And let me try to open it. Oh, it just smells so good. Um, this, you can see how much I still have. A little bit is all you need. You don't need a whole bunch. You just need to put a little dab between uh, behind your ears and, you know, decollete and one of your wrist points, whatever. But uh, this perfume is just amazing. So, what I have... <laughs> how I um how I just rate perfumes basically is first you know I gotta like it but secondly you know I kind of kind of gauge on how my husband reacts to it so like if he comes in and if he does like even notice or anything then it's like okay that one's not a winner if he comes in and he says so let's say we're gonna rate on a scale of one to five okay if he comes in and says uh what's that smell <laughs> then no that's not a winner either now if he comes in and he says Ooh, baby you have a you want to go out for dinner or <laughs> something like that then we got a winner but or the other thing is um a lot of times he'll say um wow that really smells good you know wh what is it and i'll tell him it's got the sample well how much is the full size or how much is the you know, then I know that's a winner because he he's interested in getting it for me. So this one definitely was rated uh, past the number five mark because he really, really liked it. And I like it, too. So so that's a good one. So um, that's um, Isabel by Toka. Um, 
as rated by the scale of <laughs> the scale of the husband. <laughs> okay, let us see what else I got going on here. Okay, I'm going to end on these couple of polishes. I want to say, um... Actually, let's go ahead and let's start. Let's talk about the show that I'm binge watching for the month. Uh, the the show that my husband and I binge watched this month, and we've done watching it um, is Nurse Jackie, and we had a really good time watching it. The one thing though that was kind of um, we weren't prepared for when it ended because I thought we still had more seasons to go, so when it ended we weren't mentally prepared for when it ended because it's like I said I and it was all my fault because I told him I was like I think we got like three or four more seasons to go and when things were coming down to an end and stuff it's like well we were kind of wondering how's this gonna go on how's this gonna go on and anyways it came to an end and um from what I understand from online um the ending is kind of left up to interpretation. Um, I kind of know how I felt about it. Um, I don't want to leave any spoilers for like if anybody else hasn't watched it. But I mean it's been over for quite a while. So um, if you've watched it maybe you can let me know how you felt about it. Um, but uh, I, I enjoyed it. But I think the the best part of that show was um, was Edie Falco. Edie Falco just, I mean she played the heck out of that part. I think she just, she really did. I mean, she made that part uh, believable. I mean, you were still empathized with her, even though she really wasn't like the best person, maybe. But she, you still kind of found yourself maybe rooting for her a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes my husband and I would disagree on, you know, on on, on her her ethics or her her thinking and stuff but you know but that's what made it fun to watch is that you know you know he got got his perspective and got my perspective but it was fun so right now we're watching another show we're about um, we got a nut about a season and a half left of that so so that will be on my next month some um, shows we're binge watching but then after that we got to find another one so um so i might have two shows next month but we'll see how that goes um I'm just looking at my list to make sure. But yeah, that was a good show. So if you guys have watched it, um, let me know. It's it's a Showtime show. Um, so um, that's one of the reasons why I never watched because I never, never had it. So we got to see it because we had it on Netflix. So that's kind of how that went. So the last two things I want to talk about are the two polishes that I used quite a bit and again like I said Bronco nails blah 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 I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about my Broncos but I can't help it I was so excited anyways um these two polishes I used the heck out of these whole season um and this polish right here is wet and wild um pop-up boutique and this was a, from a uh, this was a limited edition polish, and I can't remember the collection that it came out of, but it was last year. And um, I'm sure you can probably still find it maybe like on eBay or something. It's not that old, but I love this polish. And it stamps well, too. It doesn't, it's, it's not a polish. I mean, you can use this for stamping. You can, I mean, it's a good polish. I liked it a whole lot. One coater. Yeah, you can use one coat. Um, this other polish that I got. Oh, here, let me show you a swatch of that. And here's this. I just loved it because of the vibrancy. It's just such a vibrant blue that I, that's why I liked using it so much. And so, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this color. Um, this one is called, it's from Pro Bell. And um, the color is called um, Summer Glow. And this is a really, really bright um, orange. This is a bright orange. It's, 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 it's an orange that's kind of vibrant. Like, again, another vibrant color. And this right here is not really showing up to, to the color on the camera just because it's so bright. But um, I got this from Groupon. And um, when um, Groupon... A couple of times there was a couple of times that they offered um they offered such uh 
two bottles of such feed I think for like nine dollars or ten dollars and you got a free bottle of polish and that was always from the Probel line and I got a couple of polishes that way from Probel um, I even think that they have actually sold the brand um, collections from this actual brand um, on Groupon um, so you might, might if you just a brand that might interest you then you might check out there I'm not sure where else you might be able to get them but anyways I that's where I kind of got them but this color like I said is really vibrant and that's a swatch of that so hopefully you can kind of see that the vibrancy that it um, it worked with so together I made so many looks with these two colors <laughs> So, yeah, I was really happy with it. I might put a picture at the end of my last, um, like, Super Bowl Manny using these two colors and the stamping plate. So, I'll go ahead and um, throw that at the end so that way you can kind of see how I use all three of those together. Um, so, I just want to make sure I got everything. I'm pretty sure I did. Um... Yeah, it looks like I did. Uh, so February, you know, it was Valentine's. Everything was good. Um, February was a good month, and it was kind of a bad month in a, in a way. Good because, yes, we won the Super Bowl, and it was fun and exciting, and we had a lot of good times with that. Um, bad because we all got the flu, <laughs> so that was kind of yucky. But um, I think it's going to end on a good note because... Um, we're going to, uh, my husband and I are going to be leaving town here this week. So hopefully, um, we'll be back, um, right before the end of the month. I mean, like the 28th or something. So, um, so it'd be nice to get away for just a few days with just me and him. Um, of course it's going to, it's like a business trip. So it's, I mean, but it's, it will still just be, uh, him and I just going together, uh, even though there's still a lot that we have to do while we're there, but um, but we're still gonna have fun and enjoy it. Um, hopefully it'll be fine. I mean, I'm a little nervous about the traveling aspect because I'm, you know, crowds and everything, and just the whole traveling part of it makes me a little nervous because it's hard for me um, to kind of be really at ease especially since I'm not 100% mobile on my own. Um, so, of course, I depend on him a lot. I think when I get out there, I'm going to try to do my best to rent a electric chair. So hopefully that will help with the independence aspect. And I did that when we went to Disneyland and it really worked out well. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, so wish us luck. <laughs> hopefully it all work out. I'm sure it'll be fine. And we'll have a great time. Um, so I guess that's it for my February favorites. I've really been enjoying sharing my favorites with you guys. And um, it's been fun. And it's been fun just keeping track and talking about them and stuff. So it's been fun. So if you guys have something that was your favorite in the month of February, let me know down below. And I'd love to hear all about it. So let's, let's get a uh, conversation going. And... Um, We'll talk about it down there, okay? All right, guys. So, um, so I guess February's out. So March comes. Does March come in like a lion, or in in like a lion, out like a lamb, or in like a lamb, out like a lion? That's the month of March, right? So we'll see how how it goes. Hopefully, it's in like a lion and out like a lamb because I want some springtime weather. Get that cold out of there and over with and then we can get into the nice and warm spring so all right guys so here's to a good march and we'll talk to you again soon okay all right much love take care guys bye bye